emotion, but what was it about that first quarter that allowed you to emote and get, get as excited as you did? Uh, I was feeling good. Um, I was in a good rhythm, finding good shots. Uh, got to a pretty good lead, so I mean, it was just a it was an easy game out there to start the, start the uh, first quarter. And I mean, everybody was, was playing good basketball. I think you're understating what you were able to do in that first quarter. Six for seven from deep in one quarter. What's that like? Uh, I mean, I was just finding good shots, honestly. I always say, like, um, Find good shots. I know I'm gonna shoot a high percentage. So I, was, I was moving out the basketball good. Guys were finding me. Joel was doing a great job of manipulating the defense to to get guys shots, get better as a passer every every night. So um, I mean, they were, I mean, I was, like I said, I was finding good shots in a great rhythm, and um, those shots I I'm gonna make at a, at a high clip. When did you know you were in a good rhythm? How many shots did it take to be like, oh no, I got it tonight? I don't think it was it. Honestly, it was nothing new. I was getting good shots. I mean, it wasn't like I was eight, 18 dribbles, you know what I'm saying, five court, 40 footers. It wasn't like I was on a Steph type streak. I was just finding good shots. And um, I'm, I'm, like I said, I know I'm going to make those at a high clip. I, I really shouldn't I missed two or three more that I, that I should have made, too. So, I mean, it's, it's, it wasn't really, really two, nothing too out of the ordinary, honestly. What was your reaction? Uh, you know, when he told you it was 23 points, it was like you were two points off of the franchise record for a quarter. Uh, um, I mean, I didn't know. Uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, it's cool to be um, close to the record books or whatever, but I mean, it's frustrating. I missed, like I said, I missed one that, that was open in that first quarter. I should have shouldn't have missed that one, but it is what it is. And just uh, move on to the next, the next quarter. What about the one you hit in the corner, though, in the fourth? Yeah, it's pretty important, yeah. given the fact that you hadn't scored since the first. Just your thoughts on that, just being ready in that, in that moment? Yeah, they were on a big run. It got kind of loud in there for for a second. Um, they, were, they were trapping. I think Tobias and all, and those guys did a great job handling the pressure. And I mean, I just kind of knew if that they were being so aggressive, I kind of knew that we needed to kind of stop the run. And, and once we broke the press, uh, Tobias found me in the corner. And, I just took my time, set my feet, and and and, and shot it like any other any other shot. So um, just one of those that just step into it with confidence, and it was a big shot to just kind of close the game out. Doc mentioned that in the first quarter that he noticed that guys too, you know, obviously recognized that you had the hot hand and were looking for you and getting helping get you get those good shots. Just when you know your teammates recognize that and are putting you and helping you put yourself in good positions, like just. How um, helpful is that, is that for you? Yeah, I mean, it's an unselfish team. I mean, everybody is going to have it going at some sometime or another throughout the year. And I mean, if you want to win the game, you want to go to go to those guys when they're hiding and try to get them good shots. So um, guys did a great job push, pushing the tempo, setting good screens. Like I said, Joe's getting better at picking what he wants to do out of the post, whether it's score, what he can do at all times, but also um, taking his time. and and kind of, like I said, manipulating the defense to make sure I got a couple of shots in the corner. So, uh, I mean, it was, it was a great overall team effort.